Hi, I'm Nick from The Culture Project, and today I'll be talking to you about finding freedom in friendship. Last year I was on mission in San Francisco, and one theme San Francisco is notorious for is its fog, which the locals affectionately know as Carl. Everywhere you go, whenever Carl rolls into town, the sky is gray and it's just dense with fog. But as soon as you drive about 15 minutes south, you usually find a different scene. The sky is clear, the sun is shining, and when you turn around, you can see the whole city being enveloped by Carl. I think our experience of friendship in our culture today between men and women can be like being in a thick fog. We hit it off with somebody, we become quick friends. We might have similar interests, similar experiences, or maybe we just have a lot of fun and laughs with this person. You know, this sympathy grows and we feel closer to them. Our culture believes this is what friendship is. Yeah, we run into so many problems. We might feel the temptation to be comfortable in the good feelings of sympathy, but that can turn into just using the other person for emotional fulfillment. Maybe we're walking on eggshells because we don't want our actions to be interpreted the wrong way. Maybe we see this in the other person, but we don't want to call them out and ruin the friendship in case there's an unreciprocated romantic attraction. Both of us can be left feeling lost and confused as to what the level of commitment is because this sympathy is not quite friendship. In his book, Love and Responsibility, John Paul II defines friendship as the full commitment of two people towards the good of each other. He explains that in friendship, love blossoms because friendship is a school of love for life. We learn to come out of ourselves for the sake of others. It is foundational for any progress in all relationships, especially those that are progressing towards marriage. He also teaches too though that friendship is a desirable good in itself. We are allowed to pursue friendships with the opposite sex simply for friendship's sake. Friendship is so essential because its nature is one of security. And so the big step to making that full commitment and building a true friendship with another person is in explicitly and clearly stating the nature of the relationship as a friendship. It can be a formal conversation with a directed purpose. It can even just be a casual question that has an invitation to further dialogue. When this happens though, both persons can now live in a state of freedom. Any doubts of intention or commitment are banished and we have just shown to the other person that we do truly care for their good. Both people are free to be themselves with the knowledge and trust that the other is willing to do what is best for them. And a channel of communication has been opened. When we inject this clarity into our friendships, we begin to more readily experience the joy of that relationship. Just like when the sun burns through, we're no longer lost in the fog. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to like and share this video, follow us on all of our social media, and make sure to go to our website, thecultureproject.org, for more great content from us.